Hey guys, hey, welcome to another Dog Yeah! <laughs> and in today's video, I am going to give you my top five tips for surviving your first night with your brand new puppy that you hopefully rescued and or adopted. And if you are new here, guys, don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Help us on our mission to save all the damn rescue dogs. Let's jump into this video, right? Meow. I actually wanna start off by saying that the first thing you should do before bringing home your new puppy is scheduling three to four estimated consecutive days off of work or school so you can be home with your new puppy for those days. It'll really, really help with the transition and adjustment if you're not having to juggle eight hours of work and a brand new puppy. You just got your new bundle of joy and you're so excited. They're so cute, just like this little guy. And you're like, oh my goodness, it's about to be their first night. What do I do? How do I make sure that my new puppy, puppy's first night goes well? Uh, I have a few tips that have worked really, really, really well for me. The first one is hyphen, is to have a curly dog interrupt your video. <laughs> So the first tip that I'm gonna give you is I wanna set your expectations. The first night, first several nights, it's gonna be tough, but you're gonna get through it. It's gonna get better, it's gonna be fine, but I think that's gonna be the best thing I can do for you, <laughs> yeah, is to tell you and remind you over and over again that it's gonna be hard, you're gonna be tired, you're gonna be cleaning up messes, but you're gonna get through it, especially by following these tips and watching my new puppy training tips, which I'll have linked down below and, and linked up here. If you do all those things, the hard stage is gonna go by really, really quick. The first thing you wanna do when getting ready for your puppy's first night in your home is play with the puppy. Exercise him or her as much as you can. Let them chase you around the backyard, maybe play some fetch. These little guys love playing fetch. Do some tug of war with some soft toys. Let them explore a little bit under supervision. Maybe hide some of their food under a towel and have them work their brain a little bit. Bit, but definitely allow them to get out as much energy as possible. And that leads me in to my next tip. So after you play with them, you know what the puppy's gonna wanna do? What are you gonna wanna do, huh? <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna wanna nap, and that's okay. You wanna allow your puppy to rest as much as they need. But what I do is when it's a few hours before bed, you better believe I'm not letting my puppy nap. I'm gonna keep them up as late as I can um, so that when I put them down for bed, they haven't just recently napped. If you allow your puppy to nap all evening while you watch TV or clean the house, you better believe your first night is gonna be extra tough. So definitely try to keep naps to earlier in the day and not right before bed. And on that same note, make sure that you feed them their dinner and give them their water at least two to four hours before bedtime. Um, I pick up the water bowls at about 7 p.m. I'm usually in bed between 9 and 10, 10.30. I do not allow my dogs, any of my dogs, to have water a couple hours before bed. Now, I want a caveat. You always want fresh water to be available to your dogs, but especially with small puppies who can't hold their bladder very long, you can make your first night a little easier by not giving them a bunch of water right before they go to bed. So I usually pick up the bowl and that way they're not going to bed with a full bladder, huh? Yeah, oh my gosh, how cute is this? Yeah, I know. You make all the hard, hard, hard parts worth it because you're so snuggly. A tip that has worked for me really well trying to survive my first night with my puppy is when I first bring them home during the day, I actually get them used to the crate that they're gonna be sleeping in right away. And I do that by feeding them meals in there, playing with them in there, letting them go in and out of the crate. I have a whole video series actually linked up here on, on crate training tips, but I start introducing them, them to the crate, which is where I have my puppies sleep within the first few hours of coming home. That way, when you put them in the crate to go to bed their first night, it's not as scary. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? <laughs> 
I also, with the crate, make sure that it's not in a place where they feel so super, super uh, isolated. I honestly find that if I put the little crate in my room in the beginning, some people don't love that idea, but for me, that actually helps because they can sense me nearby. Okay, so now it's becoming nighttime. You're getting ready to put your new puppy away. So you have your checklist. You've made sure that they've had plenty of time to play. They did not just recently nap. They didn't just have a big bowl of water and food 30 minutes ago, but they're not in any pain or any issues. You've removed their collar and you don't have any like toys they could choke on or anything in the crate. Now's the time to put them in the crate. And guess what guys, they're gonna cry. It's, it's okay, you've made sure that they're safe and they're okay and not injured or anything and they've gone potty. So that means that you're gonna have to let them cry a little bit and over time that's gonna get better as long as you don't reward them, AKA take them out every time they whimper. Especially this young, this guy's about nine weeks old, they self-soothe um, usually pretty, pretty quickly because they get so tired. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, once they've gone to sleep, you need to go to sleep. Just like with a new baby, you need to sleep when the puppy sleeps. Okay, so what I do with my foster puppies is I actually set an alarm for every two to four hours and I let them go potty um, every two to four hours throughout the night. And yes, that means that you're gonna be super, super tired, but uh, it's really important that they get on the regimen of learning not to potty in their crate and learning to potty, hi, oops, <laughs> learning to potty outside. What's really important with that is that when you let them go potty outside, as soon as they go, you pick them up, you put them back in their crate, you don't play, you don't, Keep, you don't you don't play, you don't lengthen the time that they're out, you just go right back to bed, let them cry a little bit and move on. Oh, 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 and guys, we did just open up a P.O. box so you guys can send a letter to the dogs. How cool is that? You've been asking for it, it's live, linked down below. Okay guys, I'm gonna let my dogs go potty. Oh my. <laughs> but thank you so much for spending some of your time here. Uh, definitely click that subscribe button uh, to help us bring awareness to our mission to <laughs> save all the damn dogs. And, oh, 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 I gotta do my bark remark, AKA my comment of the day. Hold on, hold on. It's time to feature one of y'all, cause y'all are amazing. And this one goes to Atlas the Bernadoodle. <laughs> they commented on a video I did about mistakes you can do with your new puppy, which I'll link right here. And Atlas wrote, I was waiting for this video for hours. This was super helpful since I'm getting a puppy in January. Thank you so much, Atlas. I really, really appreciate your support. I've seen you on a couple of videos and it really means a lot to me. All right, guys, the dogs are going crazy and I hope that you had a beautiful day. Goodbye.